I'm Kathleen, part of Roundhouse Theatre's education team, and this is today's theatre challenge for grades K through 3. At Roundhouse, we teach that telling theatrical stories requires acting, movement, design, and playmaking. And today's challenge is all about design, specifically set design. I'm going to share with you how you can do what we call at Roundhouse a room transformation, and then I'll challenge you to create your own. Now let's see what kind of theater we can create. So what is a room transformation? Well, it's pretty much just that. Take a room and using the design process of imagine, plan, create, transform it into a totally different setting inspired by a story. Our story today is the classic The Three Little Pigs, which you can find many versions of online. We have one example linked in the comments section below, just in case you need a refresher. For this story, because there are three pigs, I think I'm going to need some help from two other friends. First, my friend Kelsey is going to walk us through the first part of the design process. Imagine. Thanks, Kathleen. Hi, everyone. I'm Kelsey, and as Kathleen mentioned, I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite things, using your imagination. As designers, before we can actually make anything, we have to dream it up. The three little pigs imagined making their houses out of straw, sticks, and bricks. If you could make a house out of anything, anything at all, what would it be? Hmm, maybe candy? Or Legos? Ooh, or really, really solid cement to keep the wolf away. <laughs> oh, and speaking of the wolf, Maybe we can add some things to our house to make sure the big bad wolf doesn't come huffing and puffing at our door. I might want to have a big keep out sign on my house or vines in front of the doors to keep it hidden away from people or wolves who pass by. It's completely up to you. That's the great thing about this first imagine step. Once you come up with some great big ideas for what you'll make your house out of, it's time to move on to the second part of our design process, plan and my friend Jen is going to tell you all about that step. Jen? Thanks, Kelsey. My name is Jen, and I'm here to walk you through the next step, planning your house. Now that you have imagined your house, it's time to start planning it, because when a wolf is on its way to huff and puff and blow your house down, it's good to have a plan. But how do we plan? Well, designers, often start the planning process by creating a rendering. What's a rendering? A rendering is a drawing of what the designer imagined. You, the designer, are going to make a rendering of the house that you imagined. Your wolf-proof house. Why don't we take a look at the rendering that I made for my wolf-proof house? So I decided to do a really simple rendering and I labeled it artist's house so I wouldn't forget what I was working on. I decided that in my artist's house, I wanted to have a lot of light because artists need light to see by. I also thought it would be cool if I could draw on the walls. So maybe I could just make the walls out of sketchbooks. That way I can just reach over and open a sketchbook and draw whenever I want. What are these? These are paint brushes, and I will tell you why. The paint brushes are part of my wolf proof trap. I've decided that I don't want to hurt the wolf. I just want to keep him from blowing my house down. So what I'm going to do, being an artist, I'm going to take these paint brushes and I'm going to set them out in front of my house. And then when the wolf walks by, these brushes are going to tickle his belly and he is going to start to laugh. And we all know if you're laughing, you can't take a deep enough breath to blow a house down. Great, so now we have planned, we have a rendering. Kathleen, what are we gonna do next? Thanks for your help, friends. When we do room transformations at Roundhouse, the best part is sharing our creations with other people. So I can't wait to see what your forts look like. Now. The last step in the design process is create, which means we are now actually going to build our wolf-proof forts using our plans as a guide. For this part, you'll definitely want to ask a grown-up for some help. Have them help you figure out which room is the best room to make your fort and what you can use to build it. 
Now, let's get transforming. This is my living room. Here is my plan. And, ta-da! This is my fort. So for my fort, I decided to build it with really stinky socks because I figured, first of all, ew, who likes stinky socks? Nobody, so that's sure to keep a wolf away. But even if the wolf does come sniffing around, he might smell the stinky socks and sneeze and gag and it will definitely keep him from even taking a big deep breath and trying to blow my house down. So I should be safe. Stinky socks, I've got stinky shoes out front, again, just to reinforce the stinky sock smell. A uh, big keep out wolf sign. And on the inside, I'm prepared to hang out for a while. I've got my best friend, I've got some pillows, and I've got some snacks just in case. I'm all set. So, Kelsey, can we see how your fort turned out? Sure, Kathleen. Here we have a house made entirely of candy. We even have a chimney that has sprinkles coming out the top. We have chocolate walls, candy doors, but we put it behind this tree so that if a wolf came by, he wouldn't be able to see it. If he made it past the tree, he'd also see a sign that says, no wolves allowed. But if you come on over, you'll see our licorice path with gumdrop and real candy lining. When you come inside the house, there is even more candy. Best house ever. Jen, let's see what you created. And here is my finished artist's house, complete with walls made out of sketchbooks. So I can just sit in here and draw and draw. And here we have my paintbrushes that are gonna tickle the wolf so he's so busy laughing he can't get a breath to blow my house down. Wow, those look awesome. Thanks so much for sharing, Jen and Kelsey. So now it's your turn. We challenge you to create your own Three Little Pigs inspired room transformation. And if you'd like, you can ask your grown up to send us a picture or video to education at roundhousetheater.org. Make sure they follow Roundhouse on social media because we'll be featuring some of our favorite submissions on Instagram and Facebook, and it might be yours. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Roundhouse YouTube channel for a brand new arts challenge every week. Have fun, and we'll see you Monday.